Hi, and welcome to Cocktail Chronicles, the after dark edition where you can mix hot button issues with your drinks. Tonight we're talking politics and your cocktails. Do politicians get a saving pass? Tonight we have a wonderful panel to have these conversations with us. So let's go right live to Cocktail Chronicles. And our lovely host tonight, Tracy Burns. Cocktails and Politicians was a live discussion covering the issues with politicians and alcohol. They had a panel of four political figures giving their perspectives on different questions in regards to politicians and alcohol. Do politicians get a sipping pass? Meaning, should they be held accountable for drinking and driving? Here's a little bit of what the panel had to say. All right. They are made of my people trying to call me everything. All right, so should politicians get a pass? The short answer is no. No one should be above the law. No one should be above the law. Do we all make mistakes? Absolutely. And so, you know, take everything into consideration, case by case. There's no one piece of legislation can or law uh, that will address all issues. So we have a process in place, uh, but no politician should be above the law. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm happy to say that none of my members have been arrested for driving under the influence. Now let me just say that you know you should never drink under the influence because you never know what may happen. So one of the things that we I'm glad about, we have Uber now, so there's no excuse for people to get caught drinking and driving. And if you do, like one of my colleagues who recently got caught drunk and driving with a gun with four children in the car. Um, all of that may happen and, and you still will be able to keep your seat and still not be locked up behind bars. So I'm just going to leave it right there for a moment. <laughs> 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 uh, three people in this room. Uh, so I'm going to get Me included, I'm yeah. uh, But no, uh, working great for our chart, the international law firm here and done some political campaigns over the years. Um, this song, this song is um, I just, real quick, I just think that I agree totally with Derek and Dee. Number one, you can't be above the law. Um, and also at a time when we have companies like Uber and Lyft, and really not so much these companies. <laughs> and um, obviously, politicians, no one else should be above the law. It's, it's, it's clear cut. Everybody said what you should be doing. But we just gotta keep the word out there. I mean, you should keep the word with the younger generation coming up that you just don't do it. And if you're drinking, don't drive. And you gotta keep it going. And I'm doing our paranormal thing. So just keep the word out there all the way up. At the end of the night, special prizes such as the Lights by Dawn alcohol-infused cupcakes and ASB Skin Wellness Spa gift cards were given out. Okay. And I was feeling funny. Overall, the event was a success. This is Paige Smith reporting for Cocktail Chronicles.